An empirical formula is defined as the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms in a given molecule. Often, when you go from a molecular to an empirical formula, you will need to divide by a whole number, but this isn't always the case. Remember, inside of an empirical formula, the subscripts must only be whole numbers. We don't want to have any decimal points in our subscripts. It's easiest to look at an example to truly understand empirical formula. So we've given some molecular formulas and we ask what would be their empirical formulas. The first one is C2H6. And here you can see that the relative ratio of carbon to hydrogen is one to three. So that's the easiest way we can represent the relationship between carbon and hydrogen inside of this molecular formula is CH3. So there's still a one to three ratio. So C2H6 is a one to three ratio. So the empirical formula for C2H6 would be CH3. Also notice that we've divided by two to go from the molecular formula to the empirical formula. We've divided all the subscripts by two. For the next one, C6H6, it is a one to one mole ratio. For every one carbon, we have one hydrogen. So the empirical formula for this molecular formula would be CH. So we've divided the molecular formula by six. The empirical formula for C3H4 is a little trickier. So if you look, we can't divide by a whole number and come up with an empirical formula that does not involve decimal places. When this happens, the molecular formula is also the empirical formula. So there is no simpler way that we can present the ratio of carbon to hydrogen in this molecular formula. So the ratio is three carbons to four hydrogens. We can't represent that ratio in a simpler form so the molecular formula is the same as the empirical formula.